Welcome to week 19, 19 weeks until Tahoe 200. And today is Saturday. See that finish line right there? I just went running down that finish line about an hour and a half ago, maybe an hour and three quarters ago. Finished Sun Mountain 50 miler. It was a really, really great training run for Tahoe 200. A ton of elevation. I got burnt to an absolute crisp. I am so sore right now. It was quite the day out there. Let's roll it back. You can check it out. Good morning, it is Tuesday. Monday was a rest day. It was lovely. It was busy. Oh, I feel tired. I just gotta get out there and start running. I'm gonna meet up with Devin and then with Steph, go around to Science World looking for another 17 to 18, continuing the trend of last week with the Telescience World loop. Here it goes. I'm definitely a little tired and not too sure what to do with this run now, but it is a freaking beautiful morning. Clean myself up a little bit. Feeling a little refreshed? A little bit. Yeah, it's just a little guy, so it's. It's more like just, I'm worried because my legs are tired. Yeah. See how much more I can do. Okay, that's enough for today. I forgot to turn my watch back on a couple of times. So, 16 and a half, I've probably done about 17 and a half, yeah, 17 and a half to 18 kilometers. Um, knee hurts, elbow hurts, palm hurts. Whenever I fall, it's because I'm tired. So I think I just need to be really careful right now and recognize that I need to get some really good sleeps these next few days because I have my 50 miler on Saturday. Definitely don't want to be falling in my 50 miler. So pull back the rest of the week. Nothing too big, nothing too long. A lot of sleep. That's the plan. It is Wednesday morning and I am just on my way for a bit of a shorter run this morning. Meet up with Steph, go out to the anchor and back. Me is feeling a bit stiff still. A bit tired um, but I did get more sleep and I napped yesterday so things are looking up okay here goes hey! holy shit you are like just crushing it these days okay. <laughs> Follow no end Getting deeper 
Okay, off to Fortis, BC to give a workshop. Actually, um, four demos back to back. Mm, white strips. Take those out before I get there. Here I am at Fortis, BC, all set up, ready for the demos that I'm giving today. Excited to start. 15 short minutes to go time. And there we have it. That was, as always, as workshops always are, uh, so much fun. So that is done. Now, a few clients tomorrow. Ooh, marking, I gotta do my all the marking. Um, sleep and get ready for Sun Mountain 50 miler. Yay. Good afternoon. I took today as a rest day, no running. I slept in a full eight and a half hours of sleep, closer to 10 hours in bed. It, amazing. Um, felt really good. I'm going to aim for another eight and a half hours of sleep tonight. Clearly being that I'm enjoying this day off so much, um, not running, taking the day of rest, definitely the right choice. Before the day is over, I do need to pack for Sun Mountain, leaving tomorrow. We are on our way to Winthrop, Washington, where I will be running Sun Mountain 50 miler tomorrow. It is a beautiful day. And so far, clear sailing. Just gotta make it through Nexus. Three cars ahead of us. Hit up Whole Foods, get some lunch, get some food for the rest of the night. Then it's go time tomorrow. We have arrived. We got one of the 10 or 12 cabins that is right here at the start finish line of the Sun Mountain 50 miler. Time to eat and then go to bed basically. Good morning. It is Saturday race morning. And here I am at the start finish line, just like that. One of the benefits of staying in one of these cabins. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm just gonna go grab my race bib. Okay. It is eight minutes to go time. A little bit of a chilly start, but it's gonna get hot out today. Remember my sunglasses? Uh, ready for this, am I? <laughs> Just like that. Oh, yeah. And I'm on trails like Really? OK, 
Okay, the first kilometer was downhill on pavement, and ever since then we have been climbing about 3.3 kilometers in so far, about 250 meters of elevation gain, and there's a little bit more climbing yet to do. Four kilometers in, and we got some downhill, and already some amazing views. been a couple of those little gates already about 9.3 kilometers in last six kilometers oh, last five kilometers mostly rolling very runnable so far which could be dangerous Climbing again. 10.3 kilometers in. Ooh, like 10 down 70 to go. <sighs> Beautiful. Just went through the first aid station a couple kilometers ago. A couple kilometers ago. I'm at nearly 14 kilometers. Lovely rolling. It's just so beautiful out here. Just gonna enjoy today. There's a lot more yet to come. Okay, just made it through the second aid station. At about 20 kilometers, just under. Feeling good so far. Wearing a brand new pack for the first time. Little things aren't working. I don't know where the right pockets are. The tube's not going in the right place. But other than that, amazing day so far. So we're at about a quarter of the way in. It's only gonna get hotter. Just so darn beautiful. I gotta just remember to stay in the moment and enjoy the beauty that I'm in the middle of for the rest of today, no matter how hot it gets, no matter how tired I get. The goal. Lovely, a little break from the sun. Just did a whole bunch of climbing. At about 900 meters total elevation, 23 kilometers. A lot of runnable paths broken up with climbing, climb, run, climb, run, climb, run. And just beauty everywhere. Theme of the day. 30 kilometers down, only 50 to go. Uh, no, it's absolutely beautiful. Feeling pretty good. It is warm, but we're in the shade right now. Still enjoying the scenery. And get to run on the flat for a little bit. Just finished a decent climb. This is Johnny. I have been following him. He's been an amazing pacer without even knowing it, or maybe he didn't know it. <laughs> he knew somebody was behind you. Likewise, yeah. <laughs> and he's from basically my hood, Coquitlam, BC, not too far away from Vancouver. This 
this is second official 50 miler. Right? Second. Oh, what fun! <laughs> All right, about 30, almost 31 kilometers down. And this part, this part is just lovely. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Four kilometers and we're back into the trail it's just got off of the road it was lovely to be on the road also lovely to be back in the trails still following Johnny thirty eight point eight kilometers we are approaching the halfway point it is hot lovely breeze up here feeling pretty good Pretty good. Pretty good. Still with Johnny. Just the two of us out here right now. And like 250 other people somewhere. <laughs> okay. 41.39 kilometers down. We've passed the halfway point. I miss passing the halfway point. But the good news is we passed the halfway point. Over halfway there. Okay, can you tell I'm happy about halfway? And bad news? No bad news. It's all good news. A little bit of uphill climbing. Still beautiful. I'm still hanging out with Johnny. Hey! Hey! Woo! 48.4... Uh, 48.84 kilometers. It has been very rolling. Very runnable. Which at this point is... <laughs> tired so almost looking for a climb yet definitely enjoying the runnableness I can't talk anyway doing pretty good still really really loving the scenery ah so beautiful this is amazing this is truly an amazing experience out here Totally loving it. Standing in a glass bowl at the end of a black hole. Walking along the dirt road. This bit is brutal. Hot, very hot. 51.8 kilometers. Ah, it's nice to pass the 50k mark, that's for sure. But uh, yep, 30k still ahead of me. It is hot. Can't wait to dive back into the trails. Ooh, wow, somebody's on his way back. I'm jealous. Just a short ooh, 25k or so. Ah. He was running up the hill. I'll be walking up the hill. just left the Elbow Kui aid station. I will be back to see that aid station two more times. Right now I think this might be the biggest climb of the day. Not sure, maybe. from 50 kilometers onwards it has been completely exposed no shade full sun it is hot nice breeze at some points I kind of lost it for the last kilometer so anyway at 57k <laughs> and feeling it
climbing. I'm trying to keep calories down. Ugh. Ugh. Stomach. Ugh. Um, 61 kilometers. Three and a half. I, I'm kind of over this. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, uh, I just, I just got tired. <laughs> Standing in a glass bowl. Onwards. At the end of a black hole. Coal lost and upside down. Uh, okay. Just went through the water only aid station. I have never been so happy to see an aid station. And I was actually run, running dangerously low on water, so it was good timing. 65.4 kilometers. The heat is beating me down today. It's still beautiful, but... <laughs> oh. But what? Hmm. There's a lot of elevation here for me. I'm actually not used to so much elevation. And of course, I'm not trained for this much elevation. This is a training run in itself, I guess. So I'm just gonna slow it up. I've been out here for nine and a half hours. <sighs> Anticipating, I don't know, 12 and a half to 13 and a half hour finish. It's all right. The training run, it's a beautiful training run. Mm, just keep moving forward. Still climbing. This is a brutal climb. <laughs> Come so late in the race. So steep, so long. I'm gonna add it for maybe half an hour, I don't know. Getting close to the top. That's good. That's a positive. And there's a nice breeze. Thank God for the breeze. Maybe I've hit the top now. So much climbing. 68.74. It's like an hour of climbing. Okay, it's a bit better now. Super beautiful, kind of runnable. It's just my legs that can't run right now. 70.35, just 10K. Oh God, 10K left. Uh, 72 kilometers. I say hi to cows. <laughs> 74.27. About a kilometer ago, just went through uh, Elbow Coulee for the second time. Doing an out and a back, one mile out, one mile back. Must be close to the turnaround point. I am getting close. Oh boy. Here it goes, here it goes. All right, here we are. Turn it around. And headed, oh, headed to that finish line now. Oh God, snake. Snake. Ah. Home stretch. Just went through elbow cleat for the last time. I am now on my way to the finish line, maybe four miles to the finish line. A little bit of a Walking up this hot road. I'm gonna be so far over 80. I've got 76.4 kilometers, and supposedly there's still four more miles. Whew. Okay, truly home stretch now. I, th I think I'm close. 80.33 kilometers. Probably another kilometer, maybe two. 
<laughs> oh, it's been beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I am so ready to be done. Folks changing like the weather. I can see the finish line. I just don't know how far away it is. 82.2 kilometers. Almost there. But I won't stay for long. I'll grow back again. Oh, yeah, my roots are strong. So here I am, about two hours, no, one hour after finishing, no, two hours. Two hours after finishing, it's just after eight o'clock. Technically, technically, I think that we breached cutoff. I believe the cutoff was 14 hours, so it's just past 14 hours. I finished in 12 hours and 14 minutes, finished with a total of 83 kilometers on the watch. That was really hard. There was a lot of elevation, probably most elevation I've ever climbed within a race, given the distance. Um, I have a lot of climbing to do before Tahoe 200 rolls around. That is apparent. Um, I also got burnt to a crisp out there. So my whole, oh, I never get burnt. Yeah, spending all day out in the sun, I am red as a lobster. I also need to shower. I just wash my feet off, but I actually still need to shower. Legs are super, super sore. I don't even know what I'm doing standing right now. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna go sleep and sleep and sleep. We're taking off tomorrow, going home. And I'm probably gonna take the next week off. I'm definitely taking a bunch of days off to fully rest and recover from the craziness of today. Crazy awesomeness of today. It was, yeah, I got tired out there. Um, it got really, really hard especially at points but it was it was amazing it was overall it was a really great day I'm down to the ground, dragging. and we hit the road we are on our way home i could not sleep past 6 a.m body just too uncomfortable between my sore legs and my lovely sunburn <laughs> Um, so we hit the road early. Not a bad thing. It is so nice to be home back in Vancouver. Right, kiddos? Yeah. Well, on our way to the grocery store to get some dinner. There is no food in the house whatsoever. Speaking of food, I wanted to talk about how I fueled yesterday's 50 miler, which would really start with the night before. So on Friday night, the dinner that you saw me eating, me and hubby eating, was two servings of white rice with a little bit of chicken and a whole bunch of beets. Pickled beets. Pickled beets. And when I woke up the morning up, I woke up only two hours before the race started. Normally for a shorter, faster race, I'd wake up three hours in advance, but being that it's an ultra, pace is a little bit slower. I gave myself two hours for digestion and I had one of my ginger oatmeal cookies, homemade. Uh, I had a matcha green tea. That's about it. That's all, all I had before going out. So it was probably about 55 grams of carbohydrates before going out. And then during, let's talk about what I had during. So unlike the Eugene Marathon, where I had five gels over the span of three and a half hours, for my ultra, I definitely rely on using my own fatty acids for fuel. So the whole fat burning athlete really comes to it, into effect for ultras. Um, I had only three gels and two servings of scratch exercise hydration over the first five and a half hours or so that I was out there 
Once I got to Elbow Coolie Aid Station the first time, I had two slices of bacon and a bunch of what I think were barbecue potato chips and a whole bunch of water. I drank a ton of water the entire time. It was quite hot out there. Uh, I had a third serving of scratch somewhere along the way and I also had probably two servings of noon that they were offering on the course. I filled my water bottle up with noon a couple times. I also, last but not least, had probably about 12 to 15 uh, jujubes. And Gum I had the gumdrops. Gumdrops, gum yes. Right. And I had those three separate times. And that is it. So not a lot. I did not feel that ultra with a heck of a lot. I definitely got very nauseous out there um, when the heat was really at its hottest. As you saw, I was mm, not feeling the best about 65 kilometers in, 70 kilometers in or so. That said, all in. I'm happy with how things went, happy with my performance, um, happy with how I finished and Happy with how I'm recovering. I was definitely very sore yesterday, but um, walking right now, not doing too badly. So that finishes up this week. Next week, or this coming week, is definitely a recovery week. I'll take my recovery seriously. Have a great week, everyone. I will see you next week.